Why do I tell Jessica? She's going to find out anyway. It would be very distressing. Have a plan. It's a good idea for you to tell me. I have found out that Rusty had cancer. Hey everybody, it's Val. It's time for another Q&A. In today's q and I'm going to answer the question, why do we share bad news or sad news with Jess? This was an actual question that I got yesterday after posting a video about some family members who were going through the loss of their pet. When I get questions like this about why do I tell Jessica something, I like to approach it from a standpoint of why do we tell anybody anything? Jessica is a person, so why do we share information with loved ones? There's a couple reasons. Number one, we feel like they should know. They have a right to know just as much as we know. And if I had a family member who had a beloved pet that I knew that I cared about, and I went to see them or went to visit them and said, oh, where's your puppy or where's your whatever? And they said, oh, and, and shared a piece of bad news. Hearing that in that moment, this unexpected moment of news when it's not the best setting to find something out and you 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 learn that somebody kept information from you, they didn't share information with you, that you would have wanted to know, you would have wanted to be there for them, show sympathy, care, concern, whatever. I tell Jessica news because she's going to find out anyway. It's not going to be like we keep information from her for the rest of her life and let her think that people live forever or animals live forever or sad things don't happen. Sad things happen and it's part of life and she deserves to know just like everybody else deserves to know. These she, She's close to these family members. She talks to them. She visits with them when they come and she's very aware of how much they love their dog and how much their dog is a part of their family. And if she didn't know and she went to see them or they came to see the family and she found out under those circumstances, it would be very distressing for her and for everyone else to find that out uh, on just spur of the moment like that. It's that is very anxiety inducing. Uh, it's shocking information presented in that way. So it's much better when we have sad news to share with Jessica that we are cautious and careful with when we present it, how it's presented, what time of the day, what day of the week. All these things matter. You know, we never share news like that with Jess right before bedtime. We don't share news, sad news with Jess in the evening when bedtime's coming up. It's better when we have something else planned so that you know if she learns some sad news and she's processing it and sad about it maybe dwelling on it a little bit but then we have other plans that we can shift gears towards that's helpful so when we're sharing news with jess it's always beneficial to have a plan and be purposeful with when we tell her and how we tell her i chose to tell, tell jessica this news about this beloved pet that was gonna have to be put down. I told her first thing in the morning yesterday because it gave her a whole day to talk about it, process it, and feel better or be coping better by bedtime. Although even at bedtime last night, it was still in her mind. She was still talking about it a little bit. But you know, the, these are things in life that you can't hide from her forever. and. I don't feel like I should hide them from her forever. I just feel like they have to be explained to her in a deliberate way. There have been times like during COVID when we were all under so much duress already. We were all experiencing so much change and so much grief about, you know, a lost way of life and, and all that. And you know, there are a few times I didn't tell her right away about things that I learned about people. I waited to tell her until I felt like the time was better. And I do know that the more time passes between an actual event and telling her, the more awkward it is to tell. So I try not to do that. Giving Jessica sad news is awful. It's just awful. And I, I never look forward to it. I always dread it. I was making a video about why I tell you sad news. Somebody asked me, why do I tell you sad things? And okay. 
I was explaining to the video that I tell you sad things because I think you have a right to know. Yeah. And I don't think it would be fair to you for me to not tell you stuff. It's a good idea for you to tell me. Yeah, how would you feel if you found out I didn't tell you stuff? I would feel bad if you didn't tell me. Yeah. Do you think that it's a good idea for me to tell you information? Yeah. Um, when I feel like the time is right, when we're at home and everything's calm and we can process it at home? Yes. That would be better than you finding out all of a sudden somewhere else, wouldn't it? Like if I didn't tell you something and then you found out later all of a sudden, you would be upset. What is it that you would have told me? Well, like, you know how I told you yesterday about Rusty? Right. What if I didn't tell you about Rusty? Well. And then you saw Philip and Patsy one day and you said, how's Rusty doing? Or you said, where's Rusty? And they told you that they had to have him put down. Would you be upset that they hadn't already told you or I hadn't already told you or Nani and Granddad hadn't already told you? I would have been upset. Yeah, you would have been real upset. And then you wouldn't trust us in the future that we're going to tell you information, right? Right. But it's better off that you told me, so. Yeah. So that. You want to know information just like everybody else wants to know, don't you? Yep. So what I wanted to say to the camera is, you know, when we have to tell Jessica sad news, and we do need to tell her sometimes, Jess has a very predictable pattern of behavior often when she gets really bad news. And we, the family, know what to expect. We know how to let her process that information. We know how she works it through her system. And it's much better and much more appropriate for that to happen at home. Okay. in her safety bubble and her safety environment than anywhere else. One of the ways Jessica processes sad news is by pacing. You mm -hmm. know, sometimes when we tell you bad news, you, you walk down the hall and you walk back up the hall and you walk down the hall and you walk back up the hall and you walk down the hall and you walk back up the hall. You know how you like to do that sometimes? Sometimes yeah. Jessica does that when she's really excited and sometimes she does it when she's really upset. Sorry about that. Well, that's fine. That's the way you handle it, and that's fine. I'm upset. Another way Jessica handles information like that is calling and telling people about it. It helps her process it to share the news with other people, doesn't it? Right. All right. So she calls different people, and she talks to different people about it, and different people approach her differently and say different things, and it's it's a real good process for her to do Where's it that, that way. One? She's at the door. And another way Jessica processes sad news sometimes is by crying very loudly which is fine well it's completely fine for you to do that and we are used to it it's very sad to watch it's very distressing for us to see her that upset but it's part of being a grown-up okay. it's part of life i know i understand and it's part of building developing and having coping mechanisms isn't it Yep. Do you have anything else to say about why we tell you sad news for uh, the camera? Do you want to tell anything else to the camera about it? Yeah. What? Uh, well, to let me know the information. Yeah. You want to know the information, don't you? You're okay with me telling you sad news, aren't you? Yeah, I'm okay with it. I don't. I don't mind it at all. You would rather me tell you than not tell you, right? Right. I would rather you tell me so that... I would know. That's right. You want to be informed. Yeah. Mom, here's some news I found out. Okay. The news is I have found out that Rusty had cancer. Okay. He either had colon cancer or lung cancer, kind of like, kind of like Aunt Sue had. Mm-hmm. He had bone cancer, too. I think he had one of his legs amputated recently because he had cancer in his leg. And see, this is another reason why we tell Jessica information. She's curious. She wants to know. She does. If we just said Rusty went to doggy heaven, she wants to know why. She's not going to be satisfied with an answer of just because. Even when we lost Abby. Oh, gosh. It's, it's not an, a satisfactory answer to her that Abby was old. Well, she was, she but I'm was. trying to think. 
she was old, but Jessica wants to know, okay, she was old, but what does that mean? Like, why did she have to go to doggy heaven? And there was a reason. She couldn't walk anymore. And she couldn't get up and down the stairs to go outside. And she was in severe pain. And she couldn't walk without falling down. And those are all reasons. Those are all explanations. Was it cancer or just... No, it was because she was so old. He was old, old. Thanks for being curious. We don't mind answering questions. We want people to understand better, don't we? We want under people to understand better. Do you want people to understand you? Yes, I do. What happens when people don't understand you? Well, some people do, actually. Yeah, some people do, but when people don't, what happens? It makes me sad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people say things and do mean things that, and when they don't understand. And we don't. So we want people to understand. Jessica wants people to understand her because it means a better world for her. When people understand you better, does it make life better for you? Yes. It does. That's right. All right. Everybody have a good day. Bye.